Today I decided to make a video review of my phone which I bought last year. It is called ZTE Blade A3 2020 and the main feature which I needed is NFC and this is actually the cheapest phone which you can find on the market today with this NFC contactless payment system. Here in the box you will find some papers and previously it has it had this sticker on the screen I removed it already and also there is a charger and as you can see here we have 5.45 inches display it is IPS very nice display also as I said there is NFC feature then we have one gig of RAM one uh, 32 gigs of memory and Android Go operating system this is lightweight Android with minimal applications so that everything will work fast and smooth and if you can see it when I open when I scroll everything works really fast and for example if I open Google Chrome it takes a while but not too much then for example what else can we see but I think first let's start with uh, inner parts let's open and see what's inside of this phone how to open I think I need to open it like this let me open the cover and see what's inside of this phone here it is we have two slots for sim card we have one slot for memory card we have two cameras one front and one rear five and eight megapixels and then we have this nice removable battery this is really good feature which i also like about this phone because i like to disassemble everything and nowadays most of the phones they have internal non-removable battery this has 2600 milliamp hour battery which is quite good and let's close it and then try to boot it up and see ah by the way let me also mention about the screen how you can see fingerprints on the screen you can see all the fingerprints so you need to wipe it from time to time but i think it is not really bad because most of the phones have this fingerprints feature and at the back we have plastic not so bad it looks decent and also here we have buttons we have power button volume up and down here we have slot for headphones and at the bottom we have slot for usb charging port now let's press the power button and see how how fast or how slow it loads it takes some time and we just need to see this logo and wait until initial screens shows up i will not cut anything so that you can see the performance and here it is we have our screen up and running this is the uh, all applications and also here you can see the receiving signal i have three lines here and this is my previous asus phone we have two lines of receiving signal so it is more or less good receiving signal and 
also what I'd like to mention about this phone is that it is quite big for me. This is why I don't use it. I'm still using my previous and Android 6 phone Asus because it fits into my pocket much better. It is much thinner comparing to this one and lighter and this is why I'm using this one. Most of the time I'm just watching YouTube videos and this is almost the same as this one in regards to my feature list. And if you compare to this, uh, in compared to this really old phone, it is in the middle and this is much, much bigger. So this is why I'm using this middle version of the phone. And now I think let's take a look at the camera because this is another very important feature which you need to know about. And for example, let's let's see how this phone looks through the camera and one disadvantage about this camera that you cannot focus on a particular object when you click on the screen there is no focus it just automatically decides how to uh, show your picture how to focus but you cannot control it how you usually do it on any other phones by clicking on the screen this is a really big disadvantage in regards to this camera and I think now I'll just go to the street and try to take some videos and photos and show how it looks. Let's go to the street. This is a test video on this ZTE phone. This is the front camera. I'm walking and as you can see there is no stabilization, everything shakes. And now it is around 6 p.m. Not a lot of light on the street, but I think it is still acceptable to record your test video. And now I'll switch to another camera, to the rear camera. Okay, so this is the rear camera. You can see the quality of the video. Today is quite warm outside around 10 or 15 degrees and yesterday it was around 20 degrees I mean minus 20 degrees so the summer is coming soon and I think now I will just stop and move the camera without walking so that you will be able to see without shakes and after this I will take some pictures for you. Let's take a picture. What I'd like to mention about this phone is also the quality of the screen. Because if you rotate and see from different angle, there is almost no change of colors so i think this is a really good deal for this budget phone on this phone there is no buttons on the front screen comparing to this old phone here i have some buttons physical buttons but here there is no physical only software buttons i think this is not bad, not good, it just depends on how you got used to it. And also battery, the lifetime of the battery. Now it shows 69% and if you consider I, I charged it to 100% in this morning. I watched YouTube videos, I was taking videos and photos, I was reviewing this phone and recording multiple times and it 
is at 100% brightness and it is just 69% left. I think this is really good life of the battery. And in conclusion of this video, I would say that it is a good budget phone. If you are looking for anything cheap, this is a really good value for the money. With this one, you will be able to make phone calls, you will be able to send messages, to browse internet, to watch videos. And also, there is a killer feature in this phone, NFC. If you want to pay without cash, you, you will be able to do with this phone by using NFC. And if you want to take nice pictures, this is not so good because, as I said, there is a focusing issues. And overall, I will be keeping it for later. Maybe someday I will be using it. But now I will continue using my very old phone. And that's it. And bye-bye.